This answers somebody's question. They emailed me, why the Philippines? Uh, for people going to Asia, one of the main reasons is they speak English. Um, that's a predominant one because when they go to Thailand or um, Cambodia or somewhere like that, the language barrier is a problem. The Philippines, you can always find somebody who speaks English, if not 99% of the population in some form. Um, you've got to bear in mind, though, it's not as cheap as it used to be. The exchange rates have moved. Um, the, the cost of living for me in the Philippines increased from 2008 to now. Um, but even now, sat in Spain, we're still covering our cost of living in the Philippines easily. Um, but I will say we own our own properties. We do rent our properties out as well. So we're pretty sustainable in the Philippines. But if you're going to the Philippines for the first time, the first thing I would say is a lot of people go there because the very attractive women there. Um, they speak English. And those are key selling points to a lot of males. I'll tell you that now. Um, although people go, no, no, it's not that. It, of course it is the women play a major part. Um, a lot of guys go there because they were probably stationed there while they were in the Navy, etc. Um, so after a divorce or the death of their wife in the West, they return to somewhere, I suppose, that they remember being happy. So there is that. It's also a cheap location, if you live within your budget, uh, to retire. It ain't going to increase a lot. Um, the big concern for me, if I was there full time, is just medical insurance. Um, the market dictates how much things will increase, um, demand. So at the end of the day, the cost of living may be going up, but it's because it's an inward economy. If you understand that, it's basically the, it it gets more money coming in than it's. You know, it's funded externally by RFWs predominantly. There's a lot of, I don't know what the numbers are these days, but there was about 10 million overseas workers. So there's a lot of uh, the money in the economy comes from outside. Um, we sort of artificially inflates things like the housing market. But the thing is, for the average Filipino, that doesn't affect them. And that's, that's the key to this, is not buying into the Western stuff. It's just going there and enjoying the life that the locals have um, because basic living there is pretty cheap it's when you start thinking I'll have a bottle of wine and you can get some Australian wine pretty cheap but you for um, some of the better bottles you you're paying up to 3,000 pesos a bottle um, in the same if you want steak real steak um, you pay pay for it but as long as you're not buying into that stuff, I mean, I do, I admit, I do like that stuff and I don't mind paying for it either. But I don't complain about the price there because I still pay a premium here, even with Argentinian steak. So it doesn't bother me. But the main reasons to go to the Philippines is down to, it's English speaking, lots of attractive women that are interested in you. Um relatively cheap cost of living if you decide to live that way and people are just generally friendly nothing more than that it's as simple as that and some of that means it's more um, more of a choice for people that a haven't been abroad before b um, worry about uh, language issues etc um, because by like, going to Thailand or something the language issue can be a problem uh, but in all honesty the Philippines is a great place to start because you can go there don't buy a house or something I'm saying just go there rent a place see how you like it and then once you think oh this is for me or not then make up your mind or you think you know what I'm gonna take a two-week vacation to Cambodia I'm gonna take a two-week uh, vacation to Thailand Malaysia, wherever you want to go, um, but it is certainly a good base uh, for the for going around Asia. Um,
the visas aren't an issue either. That's the other thing. The visas aren't too much of a headache. Um, I do like the fact that although you have to pay every couple of months, but it's a pretty straightforward system um, compared to some other countries. Um, but yeah, that's why the Philippines. Thanks for watching.